welcome to War Thunder 2024 with Subdued. How y'all doing today? Happy New Year! Okay, everybody's been putting out these videos saying what their hopes for the New Year and how they want things, they like things to go, blah, 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 blah. Let me just say this. Fix top tier aviation in realistic battles by stop listening to the over caffeinated youth that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about and throw rage fits about the fact that they want their instantaneous battles because they can't stand waiting five seconds. For a match. Yeah, that's what we're running into. Gaijin needs to pull its head out of its butt and start listening to everyone that also plays the game. Not just a select few idiot, over caffeinated morons who don't have any idea how to play a game. There is absolutely no reason for 32 players jammed into a phone booth to fight. Now I know some of you are like, well, I got my, my Su-27, so yeah, there is a reason, because I've got eight missiles I can throw out there, or ten missiles, or whatever, and, and they're really good missiles, so I want to be a winner. Oh, come on. Seriously? That's your whole goal in life? Well, not mine. Mine is to actually try and perform the job that these aircraft were designed to do. I shouldn't be going up against planes that are massively overpowered compared to the one I'm flying. It really buggers my mind the fact that I end up going into obviously heavily contested airspace anytime I try and fly the AMX, uh, the Ariarte, the G91Y. Um, let's see, A7E, A7D, A7K, F-111, and the F-105. I like the planes, but here's the thing. None of them were designed to go into contested airspace. And it's not like we have teams that know how to escort, quotes, air quotes, the attack aircraft. We absolutely do not have escorts. So Gaijin should... Stop listening to, like I said, these over-caffeinated morons and start listening to the rest of the player base. The part of the player base that says, Hey guys, I'd really like to see more EC maps with a bigger variety of actual targets on the EC maps, not necessarily AI aircraft, but maybe more ground targets, 
know, rail systems, uh, boats. Where'd all the boats go? We don't get the boats anymore. Why not? I mean, you got quite a bit of ocean out there on the Spain map. Why not use it? Same thing with other maps. And you've got plenty of ground where you could be putting in railways. But we don't have those. I think we've got two maps that have rail targets. And one of those, the rail targets aren't moving. And in the other one, the rail target is just one target. Um, we need more. We need to be able to take out bridges for actual points. Update your high tier game play in EC and give it back to high tier Jets. Those that don't want to play EC maps, don't play them. Seriously, don't play them. Those that want to play EC maps will play them. But telling Gaijin, we don't like EC maps, is a lie. I like maps that give you a diversity of targets. Right now, we have a monolith of targets. It's like they took a cookie cutter and took and went bunka, bunka, bunka on each map that we fly in high tier. Now when I say high tier, I mean basically 9.7 up. You might be going, why do I say 9.7? AVHC, the F8U, those planes on down. Occasionally an F-104, but really 9.3 aircraft lack countermeasures, lack maneuvering missiles. They, they just really aren't suited. At least with the AV-8C, you get AIM-9Gs. With the F-8U, you get the AIM-9D. Those two missiles actually maneuver better than the AIM-9E in the F-100. And then you run into planes at 10.0, like the A-10A, and then the A-10 a late at 10.3. Uh, you've got the F-8E, which also has the AIM-9C and the AIM-9D. And then you drop back with the uh, F-4C. It ends up with the AIM-9E and the AIM-7D, which are really not that good. But there's other nations involved, and that's Germany, USSR, Great Britain, Japan, I hate to say it, with China, Italy, France, Sweden, and Israel. 
I'll deal mostly with the American lineup because the American lineup is the one I fly the most. And the reason is because it is a pain to diversify my flight characteristics among other planes. Sorry, I'm old. I get set in my ways. Don't like it? Well, I don't care. But what I do care about is the fact that Gaijin needs to step up their game. It's a new year. It's a new chance for them to do the right thing and fix their game so that everyone can have fun in their game. And they need more EC maps. The Kamchaka map would make for a very interesting EC map. But instead they've done the cookie cutter. Um, they put out the uh, Canyons one, whatever it is. I can't remember. I don't see that anymore. Is that an EC only map? Only for air simulator? Spare me. If there's art, if there's realistic players that do not want to fly on those maps, they don't have to. They can drop out of that match and wait the eight to nine minutes that it takes to get into a new match. Cut down the number of players in these matches also. Cut it down. They don't need 16 on a side. They could make it 4 or 5 on a side. And be able to stack missions like you wouldn't believe. Ten players would be more than adequate in a match. Five on each side. I know, some of you are like, But I love the furball! Well, that's your caffeine talking. You, you've probably had a Red Bull too many. Or a Monster. Or whatever your caffeine du jour is. Mine is straight coffee. This is something Gaijin should actually do. Cut down the number of players in a match. And more EC maps. For realistic. It will make the game better. That's my opinion. Your opinion may be different. If you've got a different opinion, please write it down. Put it in comments. I would love to read honest comments about how to make this game better. I've heard the TEC, Tim's Variety, Tankenstein, etc. At nauseum. Jube. Job, whatever his name is. And these people have good ideas. The problem is the closed minded people at Gaijin are not listening. I am not in their content creator program for a reason. They wouldn't like it. Some of you people listen to what I have to say. I hope some of you agree with what I have to say. And if you do agree with what I have to say, 
feel free to pass this on to Gaijin Admin or into the forum, which is basically saying you're talking to yourself because I have yet to see anything really valuable go through the forums and into Gaijin. And the reason I say that is because, for the most part, Gaijin does not care what plebes say. And whether you want to believe it or not, they consider all of us plebes. We are there to feed the snail. And God help us, if we don't feed the snail, they will throw a temper tantrum. And yes, they do throw temper tantrums. Just look at the recent M1A temper tantrum. Alright, that's all I've got. This is Subdude signing out. Y'all have a pleasant today. A better tomorrow, a wonderful new year, and take care, folks. Subdued. Hey!